How much do you truly understand about coronary heart disease? It's a term you've probably heard before. It's frequently mentioned in health-related conversations and medical dramas. But what does it actually mean? Coronary heart disease, or CHD, is the most widespread form of heart disease. It's the unfortunate consequence when the arteries that deliver blood to your heart start to narrow or harden. This happens due to the accumulation of what we call plaque. Now, this isn't the type of plaque you find on your teeth, but a complex mix of fat, cholesterol, and other substances present in your blood. This buildup process is also known as atherosclerosis. The location of this plaque buildup determines the type of heart disease. When it happens in the arteries supplying blood to your heart, it's known as coronary artery disease. If the plaque builds up in the arteries supplying blood to your arms and legs, it's called peripheral artery disease. When it accumulates in the arteries that supply blood to your brain, it's carotid artery disease. Now, you might wonder, what does this decrease in blood flow mean for your body? The immediate consequence can be chest pain, also known as angina. If left unchecked, this can escalate to a heart attack. The most common symptoms of a heart attack include chest pressure or pain, shortness of breath, discomfort in the arms or shoulder, discomfort in the jaw, neck or back, and a general feeling of weakness, lightheadedness, or nausea. Interestingly, women often experience different heart attack symptoms from men. In women, the most frequently reported symptoms include unusual fatigue, sleep disturbance, shortness of breath, and indigestion. So. What are the key takeaways from our discussion today? Firstly, coronary heart disease is a condition that occurs when the arteries supplying blood to the heart narrow or harden from the buildup of plaque, a complex mix of fat, cholesterol, and other substances. Secondly, the location of the plaque buildup determines the type of heart disease, coronary artery disease, peripheral artery disease, or carotid artery disease. And finally, the decrease in blood flow due to plaque buildup can lead to chest pain or even a heart attack, with symptoms varying between men and women. Remember, knowledge is the first step towards prevention. Understand the risks, recognize the symptoms, and take steps towards a healthier heart.